Hi, my friends. Suzanne here with Clever Poverty, where we talk about clever tips for tiny budgets. I was about to um, uh, replace the window film on the door on my balcony, and I thought, you know, before it gets really hot, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and just do a quick video. I've been meaning to do this, um, and I <laughs> we're in quarantine, and I... I have not had a haircut. I look like a disaster, and I thought <laughs> I haven't been doing videos because I don't I don't want people to see what a mess I and I just don't want to deal with trying to cut my own hair. And anyway, I thought, hey, they don't have to see me. I can just do a video about the doors. Anyway, so I built a privacy fence on my balcony in uh, my apartment. My balcony is four feet by nine feet, so it's a very small balcony. So I don't really, I don't really have room to go sit out there. Um, but I like, I like gardening space, and so I, um, I got permission to put up a, a privacy fence uh, because the building next door is really close, and their windows are right there, and they can look right in here, and it just feels like a fishbowl, and, and plus the building is really ugly with wires hanging, and anyway, so I wanted a privacy fence. They said yes. They had no idea <laughs> and I I just figured it was easier to get forgiveness than permission they did not know I was gonna put up a bunch of gates but um, I got away with it because my apartment happens to be in the back of the building where you can't see my balcony from the street so it, it didn't mess up the uniformity of the building and that kind of thing so you may not be able to get permission if you're in an apartment with a balcony and you know <laughs> they're gonna see how different your balcony looks and go you can't do that you know but um and anyway so for people too if you, you know if you've got your own place and you are looking for a way to create a, a privacy patio you know like say for instance I had two acres at one point and you know when you you go to sit outside and try to enjoy yourself and have a beer you're just looking at everything you need to do uh who needs that so create yourself a little private balcony where you can just go sit and not look at you know the lawn that needs to be mowed and the trees that need to be trimmed and the vegetables that need to be weeded and whatever um it, it's so easy so all you need are doors and gates um, I got a couple of them for free on Craigslist and then at a salvage yard if you happen to be in the South Bay area on Stevens Creek Boulevard hopefully it's still there I've, I've had these for three years um, in San Jose there is a salvage yard where they salvage wood and then they have these gates and I got them for $15 a piece and even cut one of them for me for 20 bucks. I needed just one of them cut two inches or so uh, so that it would fit and that's all they needed. So this is how they worked out. Now this door, I'm, I'm replacing this window film today. So sorry, it looks nasty, um, but that's what got me uh, in the mood to just do a video here. So that window film will be replaced, but um, if you if you want to put up a window fit if you happen to get you know a, a door like this I love that it's a, a nice feature I get a little extra light and it's just pretty from inside the apartment the window film um, that's the expensive kind it's called artscapes one word artscapes um, you can find it on Amazon and Walmart that I found so far I think I needed two pieces because of the shape uh, that I needed, um, maybe 50 bucks. Um, the rolls I think are around 28. I I did find one of my replacement rolls on eBay for uh, like $16 or somebody bought it and didn't want to return it, I guess. Um, but anyway, so you can just, you know, if you, if you end up with an ugly window, you can just cover it with this window film. Uh, you can get cheaper window film too. And it, uh, it looks nice. And it stayed in place for th almost three years. So, um, and it's faded now anyway. It won't stay back up. <laughs> so there's, there's actually like a, I, I stuck a plastic ruler up there just to hold it up that much um, for now. But when I put the new one up, it will stay in place for at least a couple years, and uh, it's just really pretty. So that's how you that's how you fix a situation like that, and you can create a nice feature for pretty cheap. So these are only put together by the hinges that were already on them. So they're modular, super super easy, um, and just you know hope in my situation the salvage yard did not bother to replace or to remove the hinges they could have sold them separately 
um, and you know your salvage yard may have removed them so just maybe buy them back <laughs> you should be able to get them cheaper than new ones but you'll see that it didn't quite uh, go all the way here but I didn't care because you know there's nothing to worry about there so this is just one gate I paid $15 for it it came with hinges already on it you can see them back in the corner so each panel already had hinges on it each gate or door and then I just I just you know use the hinge I got one side as you know attached and then there's this flapping end of the hinge over here and I just went like that and screwed it to that one so all I have to do to remove this is just unscrew uh, the screws on the hinges you keep you know one half still connected the other half of the of the uh, hinge you just undo those screws and you know it all just comes apart and it, it would be really fast to just take this whole thing apart so that way if they ever want to paint the balcony and I have to take it down I could it'd be a pain in the rear but I could do it so you can see here this hinge um, this is the door hinge and I just painted this side I painted this door it was a weird color this um, paint man I'm telling you rust-oleum I, I you know I, I cleaned the door but I didn't really I barely sanded it a little I did not do major um, preparation on this door but this rust-oleum paint is amazing this is is a like a it's called a hammered metal paint I just wanted something a little more interesting on the door but I didn't want it to really stand out so it's super super you can tell but it's kind of looks almost pitted when you painted it, it like pits up and that's supposed to make it look like hammered metal I'm glad that it's not really metallic looking but it's just a little more interesting uh, and uh, anyway that's that and and it's uh, man it's great paint so that's what's on there so this will just um, you know it, it will stay up when it's new but this is just old and it won't anymore um, okay so then each panel like I say the hinges uh, I just attach the hinges um, from you know one to the other and that's that so just gates and windows and uh, that's my story for now oh, Suzanne here with clever poverty where we talk about clever tips for tiny budgets <laughs> please like subscribe leave comments and questions oh these are the tomatoes that are getting acclimated to being outside and this is where they're gonna go this is really my only really sunny corner in my balcony so that they're ready to go the babies are almost there alright have a good day you guys bye bye